What is going on guys, my name is Spencer and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Tool tutorial video. In this one I'm going to be showing you the buoyancy tool. This one is extremely simple to use, basically it makes things that don't float, float. So nice and simple one this. So what you want to first do is get something that doesn't naturally float. I'm going to use this huge iron structure just for the example. And I'll show you if I put it in the water it'll sink like a stone. Nothing happening there so I'll undo it get it back um, and the only thing you get for this is the percent so this is effectively how buoyant you want it so the less buoyant you have it um, sort of it'll bounce around a lot and only just float and if you have it on 100 it'll pretty much stay where it is so I'll show you on about 30 just for example to start with so I'll stick it on and obviously you have to increase this and decrease it um, for the weight of the object so this one's going to be quite heavy but it will float just so it's floating around now fairly stably um, because of the shape of it so if you throw it it will bounce around and sort of it will still float but it's not perfectly stable but if you put it on a hundred then we'll spawn another one in fire it there we go and then place it in the water see it like doesn't go down as much now and you can stand on this as well fairly safely and move around you know you can make some pretty cool boats and stuff out of this um, you can use the things that you can't normally use which really helps when you're building things um, so I'm going to quickly build a little boat thing to show you and I'll be right back okay so there we are we've made a random little boat thing as you probably know um, the thing I've used here which is one of these sort of iron doors doesn't naturally float so I've put the buoyancy on 100 on it and now it's floating quite safely so if I jump onto here it'll stay relatively stable, we can sit in the seat I put a few thrusters on here as well so we can move it around so we can now drive this like an actual boat which is cool it really opens a lot more opportunities for building boats because your things don't break really easily with the wood and stuff you can use metal and all different things like that to make them a lot more stable and that is pretty much all you can do with the buoyancy tool nice and simple one so that is pretty much all you can do for the buoyancy tool so make sure you tune in next time where we'll be looking at the button tool which is fairly simple again but I'll go through it all with you and thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video